Our next concept is what we call inverses and how we find them. And in the definition of an inverse is if we have a function that takes an input and produces an output, the inverse function takes the output as its input and returns the input. And it's important to recognize that inverse functions only work if the original is one-to-one. -one. If it's not one-to-one, -one, it doesn't have an inverse. And so we need to be very, very, very careful about what we do with our inverses. And so we first have to make sure it's one-to-one. -one. Then we just change all the inputs into outputs and all the outputs into inputs. So let's just work through an example. Suppose that we had the following mapping. And we wanted to take this mapping and we wanted to create its inverse. And the easiest way to do this, if we notice the arrows already going to the right, this is an input to an output. So all we have to do is create a new arrow for a new relation that goes the other way. And so now our quantity demanded will give us our price instead of our price telling us how many people are going to demand it. So in a mappings, all you have to do is reverse the points, the, the graph. It just goes the other way instead of the way you were looking at. Likewise, suppose we have a list of points. And we're going to give one that is one-to-one -one already. So we know it's a function because there's no repeated inputs. And we know it's a one-to-one -one function because there's no repeated outputs. And we have this as our list of points. And so what we do to get our inverse is we just take all of the x's and they become y's. And all of the y's become x's. And notice as well that since all of our inputs became outputs and all of our outputs became inputs, the domain of our inverse becomes minus 1, 7, minus 4, 8, 5. That's a set. And our range becomes 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, which is the exact opposite here. Our domain of our original was 3, 2, 1, 0, and minus 1. And the range is minus 1, 7, minus 4, 8, and 5. So the domain of, of a function is the range of the inverse, and the range of a function is the domain of the inverse. They swap. This is the real important thing to keep in mind with inverses. The outputs become inputs, and the inputs become outputs.